Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today is Saturday, June 8th, 2019. Where has this year gone? It really has gone quick. Where has Happy this year gone? gone? That's true, it's, too. It's crazy. I Saturday. Feel like, <laughs> it's Saturday. Um, I feel like it was just yesterday we were doing this, but this week has been a blur. We've been busy. It's painting season. We're doing body art, so we've had lots of fun this week. And I've been in Canada a couple of times um, over the last few weeks. My mom's appointment uh, for her follow-up was on Tuesday, so I headed over to Canada. And good news, even though it is still colon cancer, it's only stage two, and it has not spread, no chemo, no radiation. So huge relief for our family. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It is, it is. I mean, it's the best. Best could outcome get. we could right. have anticipated. So um, they're very happy uh, with their progress. Good. So good, yay. Good, good. Thank you again for all the wishes and prayers and good support. vibes and support. Yeah. Um, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I think we can kind of relax our shoulders a bit and hopefully take a deep breath. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I'm still dealing with some stuff I've had from a month ago when I did a colonoscopy, routine rope colonoscopy. Um, I've never experienced constipation and issues that I've had with my gut uh, until I did that full colon cleanse thing to be able to do the colonoscopy. And since then, I've had nothing but havoc. So I'm really not mm -hmm. happy that I did it. I did it for the preventative of learning if I had a problem and I don't have a problem, but now I have other problems. So I've been seeing gastroenterologists, I've been doing some tests, um, been taking lots of different medicines and remedies and I appreciate all the input from everybody. I was doing magnesium citrate and water flushes and Ducalax and Miralax and gosh, there's been a whole handful of things. Yeah. Well, I ended up going back to the gastro and uh, he's uh, given me a couple of medicines which we just did yesterday. I did some x-rays and did some preliminary uh, investigation and whatnot into what's going on with me as to why things are why things are not working right. Um, I'm miserable, I'll be honest. Uh, a lot of pain. And uh, uh, my weight's not moving around like, like it should because I've been on keto and I've stuck with it and I've done my thing. So the one thing that I did not like about the visit yesterday where I saw him was... He has recommended this particular like change of foods to help me to promote moving things. Well, his change of foods includes bananas, peaches, pears, rice, toast, broth, crackers, all these things that are obviously exactly the opposite of what I'm used to and wanting to do. Right. I'm a little bit desperate. I want things to move and I want things to happen. We've ruled out obstructions, we've ruled out all kinds of other problems, but I'm still not able to make things move. So, I'm not sure if I should just take a week off and do what he says to try and... What are we doing here? You got... You got a fuzz. Well, Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure if I should just take a week off and try and resolve this and do a little bit what he's telling me to do, or what. I'm really not sure. But, you know, it is Saturday, it is our update, and mm -hmm. I want to... You know, come to the table and just tell you what's going on. Something's got to give. We got to get him. Something's got to give. <laughs> something's got to give up because I'm feeling I'm feeling beat up. Yeah. Hmm. So, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to figure out what the right next step to do is because I'm really not sure. But I feel like I should follow the doctor's order. But I also am a little scared of that too. Yeah. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. So let's get right into it. Last week I was 335.6, and this week I'm 335.6. Nothing has changed. That's better than going up. You're right. I'll take that at least. <laughs> I did not think I'd be in the 330s this long, and it's a little frustrating. I just need to get the stuff resolved and get moving. Yeah, absolutely. But this is the real life update, so <laughs> it's the Saturday update, good, bad, or otherwise. It's the Saturday updates. Um, yep. Last week I weighed in at 134.8, it was Shark Week. This week I weighed in at 135.4, so I'm up about a half a pound. I'm not quite a half a pound. Yeah. Yeah, about a half a pound. But you know, you're real close to your goal weight. I think you're kind of yeah. just finding your home, finding your space, you know. Finding my space. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still feeling pretty good. Um, 
still eating, not tracking. This week is not, I've not been tracking. Um, it's just, it's been so crazy going. I am. He is. He's I track faithful. every day. He is very faithful with whatever, it. Whatever I eat, I track. <laughs> whatever does. I drink, I track. He does. Before I eat, I track. A lot of times. Because I right. want to just see what the numbers are going to be. I'm just, I'm goofy, I know. No, he does do that. He's been he's been great with it. Um, but my it's just been sporadic, I think, for both of us. Uh, Bill's got the grill going. Oh yeah, I went and got propane, so we made some little doggies. Yeah, and some hamburgers. Really good. They were yummy. Very nice to get the grill going. Again. I love hot dogs on the grill. Yeah. So that was really nice. So we're gonna have to get some chicken, maybe some chicken, what are those, chicken kebabs? Yeah, chicken the skewers, skewers, skewers and yeah. then put the chicken and maybe a little bit of onion and green pepper or something on there. Yeah, That'd I'll eat the chicken, you can eat the onion and green pepper. I'll eat all that. <laughs> put some olive oil on it or maybe uh, avocado oil and just, you know. Yeah, some seasonings. I'm very excited so, for the grill to, to be going. Yep. It's a good thing. So guys, I'm sorry that we don't have some better news for you and some weight losses to uh, show this week, but we did promise that we would come on every Saturday and let you know where we're at. I'm hoping to get these things resolved with the doctors and uh, the medicines that they just gave me yesterday. I'm just starting up last night yeah. into today. So a little bit of prayer and a little bit of hope and you know luck and I'll be getting back on track. Yes. Well, I am on track, but I mean, just getting that all going. <laughs> yeah, just trying to get the decision of follow yeah, doctor's do. orders, not follow doctor's orders. I don't know what to do with that whole thing of the, the food sheet stuff that they gave me. You know, they want me on a very bland, very basic, and it seems very carby kind of uh, fruits and carbs and broths kind yeah. of a thing. And I'm a little concerned about that because I don't know where that's going to put me. Right. On sugars or on, you know, obviously keto. Right. <laughs> So, well, you know, it might be a reset for you. And the other you know, thing, yeah, and the other thing he had said was, I want you to avoid, I want you to avoid meats, and I want you to avoid fatty items and dairy. Well, that's cheese and salami and the cheese all the is things. not so big. No, cheese is not a big thing for me. I don't like milk. I don't like cheese. Yeah. Don't like any of that stuff so much. I'll eat cheese on pizza or something. But, but the fatty meats, which is the... Salamis and... Well, I like chicken thighs, but, you know. Yeah. Just in general, you want me to take it easy on meats, which are harder to move through you. And he wants me to do the softer things and the rice yeah. and, and all these other things that he had had on that sheet. And I kind of cringed when I looked at it. So, I'm re I, I just got that news yesterday evening, uh, like 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Yeah. Um, so... I had just gone in for a battery of like tests and exams and x-rays and things of that nature to rule out obstructions and other problems. So um, I had to, I, and I didn't see you. I, I, this is literally the first time I'm seeing you um, since last night for like 20 minutes before you zonked. Yeah. Um, but we hadn't even discussed it. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this change of the dietary recommendation yeah. or how long I would do it. I'm not sure. I think until we can get some relief for you. Uh, but you well, can, he gave me the medicines not as too. extended as it was, I've which got is nice. a couple medicines that he wants me taking and stuff. So without getting into too much information for you guys, um, maybe these medicines will help too. And I'll just take it easy on the foods for a couple of days, see if things start happening. And then if they don't, maybe on midweek I'll have to do a little bit of transition into some of those softer foods. Yeah. I don't know. You can get a fast in, too. Yeah, nothing wrong with a fast, right? Yeah. Nothing liquid. wrong with a fast. Liquid fast. It's looking like I need to get in a fast as well. <laughs> You're fine, baby. You're fine. I love you. I love you, too. Hey, it's going to be our 25th anniversary. Yeah, this, this month. This month. This month. On, on the, the 25th. On the 25th is our 25th anniversary. Um, we've, well, not exactly on the 25th for us. But we just did it with our schedule. I think it's going to be like a Tuesday night or something weird. Uh, 16th and 17th, I 16th, think. 16th, 17th. We're going to go up to uh, Windsor, over to Windsor uh, Casino. Yes. Windsor or Caesars? Is that Caesars, Caesar, Windsor, Windsor, consider. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I'm so itchy. I'm itchy. You're itchy. <laughs> like a dog. Itchy. I'm itchy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I'm itchy. It's the medicines. Medicines. So Whatever this week, what? So this week. So this week. 
I'm lying. I'm uh, lying. Next week, we next are week. going to go to Windsor. Yes. Oh, back on track. Yes. Yes. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to Windsor and just kind of hang out. Uh, got a hotel room and going to go just check out. We've said a million times we're going to go check out the casino. We've never done it. And we booked and, it. Uh, and we booked it. Yeah. I'm excited. Hotels.com. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of the basement, we're back in the basement. We're back in the basement. Yeah, I think the last two or three we've had to do in other places because we've had people here and downstairs yeah. at 7 a.m. Um, when we come down to do this on Saturdays. Uh, we've had family in for going over to Canada back and forth. Yeah. So we weren't able to come down here and make all the ruckus and noise that we do. But now, <laughs> so noisy. But now everybody's gone. So we can come back down and do our thing. <laughs> the eyes. Oh, now, right. now everybody's gone. Yeah, so everybody uh, has come and gone and visited, and now our basement is back to being ours. It is. So we're back down in our plain wall basement. Yup. Yup. I want to be the yup girl. Yup. I'm working in the bakery. Yup. Oh, did you eat anything yesterday? I did not. No. Oh my goodness, I was doing the cookies. I must have made 50 trays of cookies, the oh. big trays, with the 60 cookies on the tray. What's the, what's the holiday that's coming up? Graduations. Oh, just graduations. And okay. I'm like, Day. wait. Father's Day. Yeah, Father's Day. And then it won't be too long before July 4th. Because yes. everybody's going to want cake and cookies and pastries yeah. for, for that. So Costco's been calling me in early, and I've been working in the bakery. Bonus hours. Which is, yeah. So it's been fun. The hat looks ridiculous on me, though. The oh, white hat. I so big. <laughs> I want a picture. I'll have to send you a picture. But the hat looks so big, it's a one size fits most. Um, not you? <laughs> not me. So I look like I'm like a little kid in, in mom and dad's hat. Oh. Um, so it's kind of funny. But yeah, so the bakery's been super busy, super, super busy, fun. But those cookies are torture. It's a good thing we're not allowed to eat any of them. We're not allowed to graze. Um, oh yeah, for work. otherwise you lose your job. Oh, yeah. And I love working at Costco. There you go. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's a great that's incentive, a great incentive to it. not eat those cookies. But I'm that surprised are there. they don't have like a broken, nope. broken cookie. Plate. Those get donated. Well, those get thrown away. Actually, yeah, thrown away. <laughs> we have to if they're broken, we have to throw them away. Okay. And if it's an oddball loaf or cookie or whatever, it goes into a container and it gets donated. So it's a great thing and goes to I believe our local active faith. So. Oh, you guys work with Active Faith mm -hmm. over there? Okay. Yeah, so that food gets donated when we have, you know, that baker's dozen, so we have an extra cookie or an extra loaf of bread or what have you. Um, those all get don donated, which is pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. Well, what are we, week 27? So week, week 27. 28 will be our, you know, here's one thing we goofed up. When we started this, we're doing it week by week. So you do four weeks and then you say, okay, at the fourth week, we're at our one month mark, right? Right. Well, that works fine. But as the calendar rolls <laughs> and as days vary in the month, February. Your, your 24th week, your 28th week, which will be the week after this, which will be a milestone for us. Right. If you're counting by four week marks. Right. That would be the seven month, right? Yes. Okay. So, but it falls a little different than when we started December 1st. So, yeah. should we just continue to do four at a time and then call it that next month? Because it's going to get off track even more probably. Or <laughs> right. do we just go week to week? Like, hey, it's week 28. Hey, it's week 29. It's, you know, or do we do next week being 28, say seven month? But is it still exactly seven month? No, it's more like seven and a half or right. just another thing we didn't think out. Like, Stacy's lost all of her weight and now all of a sudden... <laughs> we're on keto and she's like there so yeah we didn't think that part out why well, to be honest with you i didn't think i would lose as quickly as no i, did. I didn't either had no idea that fat boy still got a lot to go but but you look fantastic it's i'm so there. excited and it's, it's so not distended which is it's 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 getting better and the doctors are giving me all kinds of meds we need so. to go buy him new clothes i do need some new clothes for summer yes my pants won't even, my shorts won't even stay on no, not even at all. <laughs> I was standing in the kitchen the other day doing dishes and my shorts literally just fell off. And I just tied them like 15 minutes before I retightened the string. Belts are my tighten. friend. Yeah, and I was doing dishes and I turned and they fell right off. I do need to get a few new shirts so this is a little swimmy. 
Mm. But I can still wear it. I can at least tuck it in. I don't mind tucking a shirt in now. I don't have fat rolls everywhere. Um. <laughs> still doing good on, on everything. Uh, feeling good. Yeah. Doctors are real happy. Uh, sugars are good, you know. I mean, yeah. Uh, heart rate is way down. Uh, cholesterol is way down. Feeling good. That feeling okay, phenomenal. other than getting this stomach stuff going. And, and, you know, I'm kind of looking back at this as just a bump in the road. It is a bump in the road. So I'm kind trying like to Wednesday. smile, keep riding the bike, keep doing my intermittent fasting, keep sticking to my car manager, which I've been very good with. Absolutely. You know, I've even been low on stuff. Oh, that damn itchy nose. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my nose. It just itches. Yeah, it, it doesn't itch like in my nose, but it itches like where my little Hitler mustache would go. Like that area, like here. And you can't even blame it on me this time. No, I hear no. That. I, no I there's no hairs touching me or anything. Oh, I don't know why it's driving me nuts. But anyway. Anyway. It's uh, 7 10 on Saturday morning. So we're going to wrap things up. I'm going to go make some bacon or something. Uh -huh. um, oh, see, ya. I'm not supposed to eat that. <laughs> I'm not supposed to eat the meats and the and the fatty meats and the meats. It's because you're gonna eat it without me. I gotta go to work. Yeah, I'll have some eggs. I can have eggs. It did say eggs, eggs but it good. said stay away from like cheeses and milks. Well, milk's no problem. Cheese. Well, I, I we thought kind of do. I it thought with. eggs would be part of dairy, but but uh, no, yeah. eggs are good. No, it did say eggs was okay, but it did say cheese and milks. <laughs> have to get you to eat some eggs. I can't have goat milk. Oh. It's a goat milk. Uh, ew. I'm not, I'm not drinking goat milk. No. It's gross. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, next week is our 28th week. Uh, let us know. Should we just do week to week? Or should we every four weeks call it a month and then be totally off by December when it comes to one year mark? And it, it doesn't like make any sense. Months. <laughs> I, I do know that like uh, Keto Chaos, she's just weekly. Weeks. I think you know, we should just do I think do we weeks. should do that. And then what we could do is every, every four weeks, like at the 28th, which would be next week. Right. Maybe just do the measurements and the things that we would normally do at the month mark. Yeah. Measurements. What is, what is that? Oh. Uh, it's like, okay. I'm a dork. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that. Next week is going to be some measurements of pictures. Um, and I am, and when I'm doing these uh, pictures, and you too, wearing the same clothes that we started with. Yes. Um, for me, I was in a 3X shirt, and it was super tight. And now that same 3X shirt is sitting right here on the chair, uh, I use that every time we take pictures for yeah. five minutes, and uh, and it's fit me pretty normal. It's fit me like a regular shirt now. So uh, I don't know if I should like take it down a notch to a two X, or I don't want to wear a two X, but I mean to to show the form, you know. Yeah, I and think that, so. I thought I thought it would be good to be consistent with that though. Wear the same shirt, yeah. wear the same shirt, so that it would show. The body shape absolutely form. yeah and i did very form fitting i get frustrated when i see pictures and it's like well you're not even wearing anything like what you were wearing in the other picture right you know or the lighting's totally different and everything's so so we try and Angle do it like and... on the wall with the light at the same kind of a look so we can get an idea yeah but i don't think we're going to see a whole lot of difference i mean we might see that in the measurements a little maybe. maybe yeah and maybe by next week things will be moving for me and i might even have a wishy moment Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> Let's just hope for a whooshy. Let's hope for a whoosh. That would I'm, be good. I'm going to make a hashtag whooshy. That's my new word, whooshy. <laughs> I came up with some words in the past, and I was very upset when I found out the words were not. They were already in the urban we dictionary. Can't, we can't share No, we're not those sharing words those are. words. No, if somebody wants to email me, I'll tell you. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I came up with a word that I thought was very witty and very cool, and then I Googled it, and I realized it was already in an urban dictionary. And he was so disappointed. I was deflated. I was deflated. <laughs> I was very upset that it was already a thought-of word, because it was a brand-new word for me. I just sat there and said, oh, this is great, and then I realized it wasn't real. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was already a reality, so we already <laughs> thought of it. I was going to make a shirt and everything. I would not have let him wear that <laughs> shirt, let me tell you. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, guys. So we will see you next week. We will hopefully give you some more information and more interesting information. Well, the news keeps getting better. Yeah. Better now news I've got with medicines. my mom. Better news with Bill. Medicine. Yeah. The belly's not so distended. Out, yeah, I've rolled out some bad things, and I've... Yes. Uh, Got some new medicines now from the doctor. Mm -hmm. I do have that dietary plan. I'm trying to consider: do I do that, or right. do I just cut things down and do more of an OMAD and a, a lighter fasting kind of thing? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that. 
I don't really want to go eat crackers, rice, toast, oatmeal, the stuff that he's, the softer foods is what it's, he's kind right. of going towards. So maybe I can find some alternatives that would be less meaty and less, you know, just more brothy and I don't know, I don't know man. So tell me in the comments what to do because I'm a little confused. Decisions. Kind of want to follow the doctor's orders. That's what Stacy's pushing me to do. But that would include eating the things that he's just giving me on the sheet that I don't want to eat. Well, maybe eat. just in moderation. And maybe it'll reset you. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So tell us your thoughts. Tell us I'm what you think. I'm a little confused. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Thank you so much for your support and your continued feedback. We do appreciate it. Yeah. And I was doing all the stuff people were uh, suggesting. I tried the pink, pink Himalayan flush. I tried magnesium citrate three times. Tried Miralax. Tried yeah. Ducelax. Tried all these things. And guess what? For a month, I still have had problems. So It's going to get better. But the doctor just gave me a couple things to, yeah. to do now. And uh, a couple <laughs> medicines and rolled out some other things. So we'll get that done. It's a good thing. Yep. Life is good. We'll get there. It's going to fix itself. It is. You're going to help it, but... I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. Thanks for watching, Thanks and for watching, we will guys. see you on Saturday. Yeah, we'll see you on Saturday with measurements and pictures and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye. Bye.